Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today we've got a lot to catch up on and I have a lot to tell you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge up my watch. And we're gonna do some talking while I get ready with, while I get ready. Um, I'm like, I wanna do something different than I did last time in case you guys want to kind of see something different when it comes to makeup. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna do the same thing because it's just so much easier to do something where I don't have to think, literally don't have to think, and I can just put on makeup while I talk to you guys. And yeah, so let's see. All right, I'm gonna get into the thing that you guys probably are waiting for most, and that is to hear about how my first date went. So I didn't think anything of it, to be honest, because for me, honestly, I might need to change this, but for me, when I go on a first date, I don't like to sit and eat. I just don't. Like, I want to talk to you. I want to see if we have a connection. I want to see if we can, like, hold a good conversation. I want to see, um, there's a lot of things I want to see. But I don't want to do it while we're sitting down eating dinner or lunch or something. I guess coffee would be a good thing. Okay, so coffee would be a good thing. So this is what I mentioned. I said, hey, because normally, legit, my thing is, hey, let's go meet at a park. Let's go walk around the park. Gives you a good, it, it's like a good thing to do for me. Sorry, the washer's going. It's Sunday. I have to get my laundry done, so I hope that you can overlook that. But I'm like, it, it's, it's a perfect thing for me to do because it's like, I feel like it's less pressure. You can go super casual workout clothes. Um, so you don't have to stress about what you're wearing. You can wear like super minimal makeup, like makeup that I'm putting on is exactly what I, and I'm sorry, I did not do a get ready with me for my first date before, but it's literally what I'm about to do right now. It was like super basic and super like low key. Um, but the thing is that I like to do a walk for the first time, but I approach this guy with, hey, let's go meet up at Starbucks. Like I was like, I don't drink coffee, but I will happily sit there and you know, we can have a conversation, get to know each other. And from there, like, you know, I'll sip my water and you can drink coffee or whatever. And I didn't think anything of it when he came back and was like, oh, I was thinking that maybe we'd go to the park and walk around. He mentioned at first, he was like, there's this trail um, that we can go to. And I'm like, I don't know you. I'm not going on a trail with you the first time I meet you. So I was just like, oh no, there's this park that I like to go to and it's this. And so that's where we ended up meeting. I didn't think, you know, cause at first I was like, I didn't think anything of him asking me to go to the park. I didn't think anything of it. I was actually like, oh, this is like really cool. Like, because that's literally my ideal first date because I feel like it's less pressure. If you kind of hit like an awkward stage where you're not talking, you can, easily maybe someone's doing something silly or maybe someone's like throwing football a football over here in the on the side and you can be like oh ha, 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 look at them throwing I don't know so yeah it's ideal for me um so yeah we that's where we met up by the way I'm using this Tati beautiful beauty blender what is it called Oh, blendiful, blendiful. And I really, really like it. I don't know about her whole claim about it filling pores, like taking your pore filling primer to the next level. I, no, no it doesn't. But it does a really great job at applying powder and it does a great job at like quickly blending out your foundation. And oh my gosh, for this concealer that I keep telling you guys you need to pick up and grab, um, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This concealer is a must. 
But I have felt the best way, or I have found the best way to apply it is to take your ring finger and kind of tap it in. And that is my absolute worst, least favorite way to do that. But I have noticed with this Blendiful, you can easily just kind of like pat it in and just kind of go like that and then just like swipe and it looks amazing. And then you can go over it with your powder and it like seems to like not apply too much and it doesn't get cakey and oh my gosh, I love it. I love this thing. I did not think I was gonna love it as much as I do. Um, I haven't done the whole like tried to blend it with, con not concealer, but how, I mean, I did try to apply bronzer around my forehead, but that's, I would rather just use a brush. Another thing with this is that it has replaced a lot of my brushes, so I use less brushes on my face, which is always a good thing. So, yeah. Anyways, back to the date. We go, we meet up, we spend about an hour there, and then... It was okay, like, okay, so our kind of, like, relationship before this was, like, he would send me, like, Snapchat videos, and he would, like, hype me up in the morning, like, hey, Jill, like, it's your morning, wake up, tons of energy, like, he was, like, really good at, like, hyping me up. Um, I never tell guys about my YouTube channel, like, I never tell guys. Um, now I'm gonna have to figure something out. This this coming up week is my last week of work, which I'm like, hallelujah. It's kind of bittersweet because part of me is like, you know, obviously I'm gonna miss that extra money for one, but for two, like I'm gonna miss the people. I did really meet some great people there. And so I'm gonna miss, you know, the connections and stuff like that. And I've looked for part-time work there, and they don't have part-time work that I'm looking for. Like, I'm looking for, like, literally, like, maybe 15 hours of part-time work, and their part-time work is, like, 30 hours. I'm like, yeah, no. Um, so, for now, um, I have a great letter of recommendation, um, all this kind of stuff. So, if I need to go back there or to another office job, I totally can. But for now, I'm going to definitely take a break and focus 100% on my YouTube channel and I'm super excited about that because doing this whole like working 40 hours a week there and then also having to work as much as I worked on my YouTube channel in this past like since August or like basically the beginning of, of September um, it's definitely been a challenge and it's definitely been very 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 overwhelming but i'm ready for you know me to be able to just focus full time on my youtube channel again and like i said an office will always be there we'll see where we're at in six months and if we're still comfortable and youtube is still growing like it is this and that then we'll just kind of see where it goes but yeah that's kind of an update on that this is my last week or this coming up week is my last week um yeah, the 30, 31st is my last day, so Friday. Um, anyways, back to the date. We meet up. Um, I kind of knew, like, in his pictures, I felt like he looked much better than he actually looked. But I was just like, whatever. Looks are not everything, okay? Because he seemed like he was a really great guy. Um, we meet up. Conversation was good. Um, another thing that was kind of like fishy to me was the fact that he was all like, oh, this is what I do and I don't ever work when it's raining. And I was like, oh, wow, well, this whole entire week, it's supposed to be raining. But it ended up where I think only Monday and Tuesday rained, but he was literally off the whole entire week. So Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, it's not raining. Actually, Friday was a beautiful day. Why are you not at work? That was kind of iffy to me, too, and I kind of, like, mentioned something while we were walking. I was like, so, and I mentioned something about the job. I cannot, I cannot remember what it was exactly that I said, but it was kind of alluding to the fact, like, why, why, is, why was today not a day that rained, and yet you were still not working? <laughs> As a matter of fact, the past three days it hasn't rained, and... 
you still didn't go to work. And he's all like, oh yeah, that's just, you know, my boss just called and told us all to take the whole entire week off and I still get paid and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. And then he starts telling me like what he does and like, you know, how he does it and this and that and how much he loves his job. He even told me how much he made. He told me he made $25 an hour. So I was like, oh, that's, that's good. Like that's good money. His boss, I don't know who really called him, but in the middle of our date, his boss called and was like, I need you to do inventory or something like that. So he's like, okay. And he's like, oh, I apologize. I have to cut this short, but um, my boss just called and I have to go do inventory. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And I was like, you know, we've, we've already walked three laps. It's starting to get dark. Like it's, it's cool. Like whatever. So <clears throat> that happens. And then you know, he gives me a hug and like, you know, he's like, I'll text you or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. And so we say bye. And then I come home and of course, I'm not gonna say the loser I am, but I never have anything to do. Um, especially like when the kids aren't here, like on Friday or Saturday nights, I usually just sit here and work. And so that's what I came home to do. Like I came home and I started working and he's like, Oh, I'd really love to go back up to the park again because now I'm done with the inventory. I think it was like maybe like 30 minutes later. He was like, you know, I'm done with the inventory. Maybe 45. I'm done with the inventory. I'd love to meet you back up at the park, this and that. And I was like, no, like let's go bowling or do something fun. Like let's go do that. And then he's like, I'm embarrassed to tell you this, but I, he said I'm balling on a budget right now. <sighs> Well, okay then. So I was like, those were eyelashes. I was trying to prove a point, throwing you away, I'm done. Um, but I'm a very nice person and I can't, I, I feel really shallow being like the type of woman. Cause I don't know, I don't know your situation. But what I do know is that he smelled like weed when I first saw him. Like first came up to me, you smell like weed, which means you have money to spend on weed. Why are you dating if you don't have money to spend on a date? And again, I'm not a person, you don't have to make a lot of money. I'm more about romance than it is about you. But on the first couple of dates, man, you need to be able to do something. And if you can't take a girl bowling, or if you can't take a girl for a sandwich at McDonald's, we got a problem here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like, by the way, a lot of you are asking where am I meeting these guys? I honestly don't think it's where I'm meeting them. More so, just the type of guy. I don't know, maybe it's the city I live in. I, I really don't know. Like, people have had success with Tinder. People have had success with Bumble. Apparently now, I didn't realize this, but Facebook has, was this where I met him? I think I'm on Tinder or Facebook dating. Apparently Facebook now has this dating portion to, to Facebook, which I had no idea. But literally, I'm not kidding you guys, the other day, I literally deleted all of my apps. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna focus on me. I'm about to move. I ain't got time to be dealing with this crap. And maybe, maybe I'm not ready. Maybe, maybe that's what this all boils down to. Maybe I'm just not ready because, I don't know. Like I said, it is, it's too much right now. So I deleted everything. Like I took Facebook dating, like I deleted my profile off of that. I deleted, or I just deleted my Tinder app. I, del I, didn't, I didn't even have, what was the other one? Bumble. I didn't even have that one downloaded. But yeah, and I think to be honest with you guys, when I when I am ready, like once the move happens and I'm more settled down and things like that, I feel like I might do something where you actually have to pay for something. So that way I'm matching with men I know are actually serious about actually wanting to date. Because all of the men that I've talked to were like, oh yeah, I'm looking to settle down, this and that. 
And I'm like, well, you sure don't act like it. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Some men would be like, oh, yeah, I'm just wanting this. And then I'd be like, yeah, I'm not your girl. But I appreciate your honesty, and I respect you for that. And then, you know, that would be it. But most of the time, men won't just come and be up front with that if that's what they're looking for. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why you can't just be up front and be like, hey, yo, this is all I'm looking for. Whether it's because they just got out of a relationship or it's just because they just they just aren't wanting a commitment at this point, you know? It's just kind of like, I don't know, it's frustrating. And to be honest, it's just not fun for me to like, just go out on dates. I have massive social anxiety, so it's not fun for me, like at all. Which is another reason why I kind of like to get to know guys a little bit before going out on a date with them. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just, I feel like I'm a little too old for this. <laughs> this online dating crap. I do, I like meeting guys organically, you know? I. Uh, that way you know like attractions there, there's no filters, there's no faking a picture, there's no making yourself look better because this guy I went on a date with like, I mean, like I said, I'm not a shallow person and when I saw that he was like way less attractive, which actually I noticed that when he was sending me Snapchat videos, I was like, this dude doesn't really look like he did in his pictures. Um, so when that happened, I was kind of like... Uh, whatever like he seems cool he seems like you know really supportive and like upbeat and encouraging and po very positive very positive so I was like I'm down for this but yeah I ain't down for you if you're broke and you can't even take me to go bowling one night or to go even take me for like a sandwich somewhere or even if you are broke be all like well look you know, I don't, I don't have the funds right now, um, which again, it's not my business, but you have money to spend on weed, but you don't have money to take a girl on a date. Think you need to get your priorities straight, and if you're wanting to date, you need to make sure you have some money to take women out on dates versus coming up smelling like weed and then later telling her you don't have any money. Like, why are you smoking weed all the time? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm done with this conversation. Let's talk about this house. So I'm getting ready to go look at a house. I have looked at many houses. And some of them might be beautiful when I walk in, but they don't feel like home or they just don't feel like it's me. Or it doesn't necessarily fit me and my family's situation and what I need for like out of the house. So yeah, that's what I've been experiencing so far with these houses. So <clears throat> the one that I'm gonna go look at today is, I'm not gonna say out of my price range, but it is definitely more than what I was looking to spend. So I'm very much so a planner. I'm very much so a person that has to know what's going on. But I'm also a risk taker. And I also constantly lean on faith. Like God's going to take care of this. God's going to handle this. God's got this. And for some reason I just... And, and there's reasons, and I'll tell you guys, if I end up getting this house, or when I find out, like, I'm going to go look at the house, and see, but I'm going into this house knowing these certain things, and I'm like, this is my house, like, it can't not be my house, um, but yeah, once I learn, once I find out more about the house, and whether I got it or not, what all I need to be approved, what all they need to see, like, what all they're looking for, all that kind of stuff, I will be able to tell you guys the full story and it will literally probably literally probably give a lot of you chills but um I feel like I'm struggling through this video guys I'm sorry I just my mind I'm really nervous this house I want so bad after lots of number crunching after lots of like 
savings after lots of do I want the house or do I want the new car? Do I want, because I can't have both right now. I just can't. And so I have figured out what is draining my battery, which is a good thing because now that we know, we can actually go and get it fixed. With that being said, I'm like, okay, well, when the summer comes, if I'm still not making enough that where I'm comfortable to go and purchase a car, then I will just get the air fixed and then bam, way cheaper than having to deal with a car payment, which is something, it's a huge commitment that I just don't think I'm ready for right now. So I was like, okay, we're gonna go at the house. And with me not buying a car or having a car payment, that means that we can go up on the budget a little bit. So I called him about two weeks ago. This was before I came to this decision, by the way. Like I drove myself crazy trying to come up with this decision because at one point, again, I had said, you know what? I'm just gonna stay here. I'm just gonna stay here. And that decision just didn't sit right with me. It was the most sound decision financially, I guess. But it, this house just isn't working for my family anymore. It's just not. And yeah, so anyways, I set up an appointment with the guy to, to come look at the house. And then I chicken out and I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. Something came up. Like, I'm not going to be able to come look at it. He's like, oh, no problem. I'm like... I work all next week, but if I, you know, have some time, like maybe in the evening where I can get away or I can come look at it, like I'll call you and let you know, because I'm definitely very interested in the house. I was just like, at that point, I was like, I felt like I was going to be wasting his time and I didn't want to waste his time. So I was like, let's just not do this and let's just, yeah, let's just, um, Let's just forget about the house. But something happened that I felt was a sign for me. And I was like, okay. So I called the guy back. No, actually, I didn't even figure that out until Friday morning. None of those signs. I was just feeling this pull. This pull to this house. I have looked at other houses. And while they were beautiful... Nothing really spoke to me. There was one house, and if you guys haven't seen it, I have a house hunting vlog. I will link it down below. The very first house in there was beautiful. The backyard was amazing. I love the fact that the master was on this side. The kids' room would be on this side. It just wasn't going to work for YouTube. It wasn't. And I couldn't figure out a way to make it work. So I was just like, you know what? It's still kind of a contender, but I'm going to push that aside for just now. And I'm going to keep looking. So I kept looking, kept looking. But every house I, I went into, even that second house, there was just something about it that I was just like, it's just not me. Like, And, and it was beautiful and, and gorgeous. I just, I couldn't see myself and my kids living there for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, something just kept pulling me to this house. And I knew I had this appointment today. So I was just like, all right, we're just going to go look at this house. Especially when I saw what I saw on Friday morning, I was like, this, this is my house. When you guys hear the story of what I thought, what I figured out, what I remembered on Wednesday, and then what I figured out on Friday, it's literally going to give you chills, but I'm going to, I'm going to wait for that video, um, to tell you about it, especially we don't know what this guy is going to say. We don't know. If Bella is not allowed in the house, that's a deal breaker. Um, she's my family. Like, you either take the four of us or you don't take any of us. You know what I'm saying? So that is a big deal breaker. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous to go, to go look at this house. Um, part of me is kind of like, you know, you've got this chill. And then part of me is going in with the attitude of like, what's meant for you is going to be yours. And if you get denied, then that means that God has something way better in store for you, which I'm still like, I don't know how it could be any better than this house because this house is like literally a dream come true. It'll be a it, it, dream come true. Like, I, there's no other way to describe it. By the way, I always get questions on my lip liner and I'm always like, I don't know what I use. 
So the lip liner is NYX. Um, it just says professional. It just says lip pencil. NYX professional makeup lip pencil in the color in the color natural. And then this is the Kylie Jenner <coughs> Creme Brulee, and it's a, it's her cream lipstick. So I'm gonna go get dressed and I'm gonna go look at this house. Please prayers, thoughts. Probably by the time that um, I have this video up, I will know something. Um, I'm kind of hoping I know something today, like by the end of the day, but I don't know. This is a beautiful house. This area is a very like highly sought after area. So we will see. We will see. Fingers crossed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry for those of you that were wanting more like dating videos from me, but I just don't think that they're gonna happen. I just don't think I'm ready yet. I just, I don't know. There was another thing with that guy. There was no chemistry when I met him. I looked at him and I was like, he would be a really great friend, but oh, I didn't even tell you like the most important part. Oh my gosh, you have to leave the little mind blown emoji down below if you guys made it this far, because I know this is a super long video. But, and it's also scattered and all over the place and I feel like I'm not myself, but um, oh my gosh. Okay, so after the whole fiasco thing where he talked about like he didn't have the money, this and that, like he was like balling on a budget. So that being said, I kind of started being a little off puttish Like I just kind of like stopped putting energy into out like reaching out to him if he were if he said something to me like if he was like good morning one morning it would probably take me like four hours before I get back with him and be like good morning I mean sorry good afternoon and so I just kind of was like didn't want to be mean but was kind of like putting out those vibes where it was like hey yo dude like no this isn't gonna work and I know, I know I need to be upfront. I know that I do. Like, trust me when I say I know, that's why I'm like, I'm just done with this dating thing for now. Because it's been hard for me to be upfront. I don't like hurting people's feelings. I know like I barely knew the guy, so I seriously doubt his feelings would be hurt. But I'm just weird like that. <clears throat> I'm in therapy for all of this stuff with boundaries and telling people the way I feel. Well, I'm good at telling people that I know how I feel, but people I don't know, it's really hard. I don't like conflict, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I'm kind of just like, kind of like standoffish. And about two or three days later, he's like, so I take it you're not into me and this and that. And if you are just, I, I feel like you're, you're just wanting attention from me. What, what, did, what did you just say to me? And I'm not trying to be all like, I am the baddest thing in this city, but I don't need attention from men. I get attention from men and that comment, like what he said was just kind of like, oh no, he didn't. Like, what did he just say to me? And so it's not like one of those things like, do you not see, like, do you not see me, you know? It wasn't one of those things. It was just kind of like, I know you did not. Like, do you think that I don't get attention and that you're the only man in this whole entire city that would give me the time of day? Like, are you serious right now? So y'all, I went off on him. I was like, first of all, let me tell you this. I was like, if I just wanted attention, that's not a reason for me. I can't remember what I said and I wish I would keep my, my messages or at least take screenshots. I'm gonna start taking screenshots of my text messages because what I do is I will say my piece, wait, wait like a couple hours, if they don't respond, then block and I go ahead and delete all the messages. So, yeah, I just kind of went off on him. I maybe didn't even give him two hours. I can't remember. Because the other guy that I told you guys about, I gave him, like, two days. And then I was just like, I'm done. But, um, yeah, so I, I went off on him. I can't even remember what all I said. I was like, oh, he said I always have to start all the conversations. I was like, first of all, no, you don't have to start off all of the conversations. I was like, second of all, and I just, like, listed out these things. 
I was just kind of like, no. I was like, I'm done with this. Um, Cause I tried calling him cause he kept texting and I called, that's what it was. He texted, he said that, I called him, he declined my call, then called back and hung up and then asked me if I meant to call him and I said, yes, I'm tired of this texting BS. Because a lot of times with texting, you kind of can't understand or can't maybe sometimes can't get the vibe of like how they're feeling or the tone comes across differently than intended. So I was just like, I don't want any more misinterpretation. I want to physically talk to this guy. So that happened and I just went off. I was like, first of all, I wanted to talk to you and it's obvious that you don't want to talk to me. I said, I've waited four hours from the time that I called you and I have yet hear, yet to hear anything back from you via text or via phone call. I was like, if you were at work and you were busy, you could have simply sent me a text respectfully saying, I can't talk right now. It literally takes seconds to do that. You're not gonna sit here and lie and tell me I was too busy. So I just, I just, and then I went off about the whole, yeah, so that's what happened. I'm just, I'm just done. I'm just done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm just, I realize I'm not ready and yeah, I'm also done with this video, so. Thank you to those of you that have made it to the end. I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Um, yeah, there will be no more dating stories for a long time. I was hoping, see here was my hope because I was supposed to get ready with you guys before I went to the date, but since it was like super casual and this was the makeup that I did, I was kind of like, which I know it's not about the makeup, it's more about the story and like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous and oh my gosh, this is what You know, it's more about that. But to be honest, I was just like, oh, I just had a feeling, I had a feeling. I was like, oh, we're gonna go out on a, on a date like tomorrow, like on Saturday, we're gonna go on like a legit date. And you know, then I'll like get all fancied out up and show them my outfit and show them my makeup and this and that. And yeah, that never happened. So that's why I get ready with me on my first date video never happens. So yeah, um, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.